LSU bringing a lot of purple and gold tonight. So is Lafayette. The Raging Cajuns well represented. These two schools about 55 miles apart. Lafayette to Baton Rouge, and they have gone at it since 1912 with LSU leading this all-time series 57 to 28. First time ever outside of the state of Louisiana, and we're underway. One and two to DeBarge. And he goes down on strikes, jump with that breaking ball, getting Kyle DeBarge for the second out. First strikeout for the lefty gauge jump. Chopper towards third, backhanded by Tommy White. He makes the play, and that's a one, two, three inning for Gage Jump. This ball hit in the air pretty well to left field. Long run for Connor Higgs. He'll get there and make the play. LSU fans thought that ball was hit better than it was. It's currently number seven on the MLB pipeline draft list. 3-0 count here, dangerous for Herman as he has worked into a hitter's count. And he's going to lose White on four pitches. Never really challenged him. Pitch home gets past the catcher, Wargo. Now that's going to hit Trevinsky. That's a hit by pitch. So the breaking ball from Herman. Eight of his 12 hits for extra bases. One-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Herman gets through that first inning with a walk, a hit batter, but no run scored. Here is the lineup for tomorrow. you got undefeated Vanderbilt taking on Texas. The Longhorns 0-2 so far on the weekend. It's gotten up to 95 with that fastball. Mm. Oh, no. They mentioned his ankle issue, and he goes down after striking out. They're able to walk off, so hopefully just a little bit of a stinger. Well, if not the big leagues, but to be able to come out here and play on a big league ballpark like this that has seen several World Series games at it. Now, ball players in Louisiana itself. Listen to Coach Diggs on his Zoom calls. There's another strikeout for Herman. That one on the changeup as well. Brown chops one towards second, charging Taylor, makes the play. Tom Taylor to Trey LaFleur and a good one, two, three inning for Andrew Herman. All the way around. We've had some great games all the way through this tournament. This is a chopper. Jump had to find it after he spun around, did a 360 on the mound, and found that ground ball to retire Luke Juhas for the second out. Swing and a miss. Gage Jump. Gage Jump has been very impressive. Nine up, nine down. But it's a... That's a unique luxury these days to have that many good catchers hanging around. Another changeup and another strikeout. You can see Wargo's reaction. The catcher, he was fired up getting clean there with that 2-2 two -two changeup. Kind of golfs this one. The second baseman, Taylor, is there. That's three no-hit innings for Andrew Herman. But Porter hit a massive bomb into the second deck. I mean, you could have easily just mailed it in. But they fought their way back, showed no mercy, and took it from UT at 60 mark right now. That's the best struck ball of the night for Louisiana, but it's going to be caught. Paxton Kling moves to his right to take care of that line drive off the bat of Pastor. You know, continue to stay patient, try to get good pitches to hit. And, uh, you know, when you do, we first and one out. They have the runner picked off. LaFleur's throw is going to be in time. What a call. Matt Diggs, you got to love that. Yeah, flares up on him, oh, and that swing tweaking pretty good. Game and a hit batter. Ground ball towards third. Pastor has it. That is a wide throw, and everybody's going to live on the error by Pastor. So Duncan Pastor on a relatively routine play through wide, and LaFleur had to come off the bag, and that'll extend the inning for LSU. In that throwing error, the pitch is a swing and a miss. Another changeup and another strikeout. And from last year. Swing and a miss. Down goes Wargo for the second out. That's five now. One in every inning for jump. A little pop-up on the infield. Who wants it? The shortstop, Braswell, can't get there. That's going to be the first base runner of the game. Jump almost went through five perfect innings, but somehow that ball found a way in between jump and the shortstop, Braswell, for what turns out to be a hit. That one's popped up, but a lot of air time for this one. Firing the mask away is Alec Malazzo, and the catcher stays with it for the final out. Five very impressive innings for the lefty gauge jump. Allows a little flare hit. That one bounces up there, so a four-pitch walk lefty on lefty to start the fifth.
Ken showing bunt early. See if he pulls the bat back again. He does. They are going to call a bunt yeah. because LaFleur was off the bag. That's understandable. So it works out as if they had a successful sacrifice as they were anticipating bunt. LaFleur off the bag. Called third strike. Dropped one in there on Malazzo. Seven strikeouts for Herman and a big out there. Swing with the fastball is off the outside corner. Now you've got some issues. 1 0 pitch. Popped up. Shallow right center. Can Taylor get there? It's going to fall in between everybody. Bases will be loaded. Perfectly placed on a little flare off the bat of White for a hit. Ball gets away. And that'll be the first run of the game. In to score is Jake Brown and a pitch that got away from Wargo. Strikeout here with second and third. Brown ball hits the runner in foul territory. So that'll be a foul ball. Got him. Herman with a big strikeout. That's eight punch outs for Andrew Herman. And getting Bingham there with second and third and one out, a huge out. Trying to strand two runners here in the fifth inning. And there's a base hit in the left. That will score both runners. Two RBI single for Hayden Travinsky. And LSU takes a 3-0 lead in the fifth. Looked like a slider that just caught a little too much of the plate. Stayed on it. And Travinsky did a good job of just laying the barrel through the zone. Into left field towards the Crawford boxes. All the way back at the wall. Leaping. It's off the top of the glove. Playing it back in is going to be Connor Higgs. The throw will not be made. That'll be an RBI double for Jared Jones. Nearly a great catch of the wall, but it's an RBI double for a 4-0 lead. Looks like Higgs may have gotten back there in time to get a glove on this one. Jones has been swinging a great bat here in two games at Minute Maid Park. Good pitch. Called third strike, but damage done by LSU. The Tigers score four in the inning. Juhas bounced back to the pitcher his first time up. And Herring picks up a strikeout. They'll need the throw from the catcher, Malazzo, on the money to Jared Jones. So Juhas retired. Here has a 2-2 count on Connor Higgs. And he might have back-to-back -back strikeouts and does. Trying to hold up Connor Higgs. Goes too far. Up the middle, and that'll be through for a base hit. Broussard has a two-out hit. Second hit of the night for Louisiana. That ball's ripped. Pass back. Braswell in the left field. Kyle DeBarge and Brian Broussard Jr. with back-to-back -back hits here in the sixth inning against the lefty Herring. In the left field, pretty well hit to the wall, all the way back, it's gone! Louisiana with a three-run home run from Duncan Pastor, and all of a sudden, with two outs, it's a 4-3 game. Went down and scooped that slider into the Crawford box for his first home run of the season. Three-run Jack bringing the Cajuns back, not only down by one, as the celebration ensues in front of that Louisiana dugout. Gets down on those legs and really just got underneath this and launched it a couple of rows deep up into the Crawford box. Player of the year for Louisiana. As he picks up a strikeout of the first batter he faces. That ball ripped. That's a fair ball. Hits the line and bounces to left fielder. Connor Higgs, who makes a nice play to keep Milam at first base, but Milam risks one fair down the left field line. He's a leadoff base runner for the Tigers. Up and in, ball four. Oh, Jake Brown draws the walk. This time he's around the bunt, gets it down. Fielded there by the pitcher. The throw to third, nicely done. Spinning throw on the money. Christie gets the lead runner as Milam is retired on the bunt off the bat of Milazzo. Two to cling. Got him. Big strikeout right there. Leadoff hitter Paxton Kling goes down on strikes. In the air to right field. Playable. Luke Juhas has it lined up near the line and puts it away. Great job by David Christie coming in with first and second. Nobody out. And appeared in 35 games. Idri makes quick work of the pinch hitter. 
Mason Zambo gets him on three pitches for a strikeout at Globe Life Field, the home of the Texas Rangers in Arlington. As LaFleur goes down on strikes, Gidry picking up three strikeouts here. On to behind the plate. They're playing at Rosenblatt. I mean, that is just a legendary. Justin Lord trying to protect a one-run lead. Delivers home, and this one's pop up in the air. Playable. Tommy White, the third baseman in foul territory, puts it away for the final out. Like it did in the first part of the game. Called third strike. Bingham thought he had drawn a walk on that close 3-2 pitch, but he is rung up by Clint Fagan. David Christie's numbers last year, they were okay. This ball's hit high and deep to left field. Hayden Trevinsky bidding for the Crawford boxes. It's in the second row. A solo home run by the D.H. Trevinsky. And that gives LSU a two-run lead. It's 5-3. to three. Trevinsky with a traveler. Taking advantage of the friendly confines here at Minute Maid Park. That ball was elevated. That was in the air a long time. Yeah, some great hang time and plenty to sneak into the Crawford box. Maybe just a row or two back, but it counts as a solo jack. Second on the season. That ball was lofted. Really high loft angle, or launch angle. Christie comes right back. A three-pitch strikeout of Jared Jones, getting him to wave at that pitch off the plate. Over half. Now a pitch that hits Michael Braswell the third. Off the plate, ball four. Milam draws the walk. Last year, holding opponents to a 189 batting average. That first one gets away from Jose Torres. Tried to jump out of his stance and couldn't corral that high fastball. That'll be a wild pitch. <laughs> that is true. Call third strike. Brown didn't like the call. Big strikeout for Etheridge to strand two runners. Hearing for the fourth time for the Tigers. Swing and a miss. Justin Lohr picks up a strikeout. An extra look in for Lohr. He felt like he had struck out Higgs on the previous pitch. Lohr will stay in to face Broussard, who taps one near the mound. The lefty quickly off the mound to make the play for the second out. Moves along in the season. There's a three-pitch strikeout. Lohr getting the barge and a... Quick inning for the lefty Justin Lohr. We'll wrap up this Astros Foundation College Classic with a game against Houston. That'll be the final game of the three games set tomorrow. Swing and a miss. Etheridge has looked good out of the pen, picking up back-to-back -back strikeouts, getting the first out here in the eighth. Swing and a miss. Etheridge striking out Tommy White. Inning in a third, retired all four batters he has faced. This ball hit pretty well, but at the right fielder, Jake Brown, who backs up a few steps and makes the catch. He showed a great slider, changeup, and a fastball. The mix was wonderful, and he was locating the slider and changeup real well, but lower is looking great, and looks like he's going to finish this game off. He's away in a mid park. Torres was born in Panama, went to San Jack out of Doral, Florida. Hits the ball high and deep down the left field line. Jose Torres makes it a one-run game. High off the foul pole. Torres hits his first home run as he drills one off of Lore to make it a one-run game, 5-4. to four. Jose, can you see? Put together a great at bat, fouled off a couple of tough pitches. And he gets under one and puts it off that left field foul pole to make this a one-run game. Are you kidding me? One hit on the season until this swing. He knew it, too. Threw the bat down. It was just a question of if it was going to stay fair, and it did. His first home run as a raging Cajun. Texas State coming back on both those teams late. LaFleur is going to try and beat this one out. Remember, he's got that ankle issue. He showed no issue going down the line with a head-first slide. And the Raging Cajuns had the tying run on base and the go-ahead run coming to the plate. Call third strike. He broke it over. And LSU wins their 10th game of the year. They are 10-1, the defending national champions. Close it out with a strikeout as Lore gets John Taylor to end it. Good ball game between these two teams for Louisiana.
Mm-hmm.